these are some of the items that I get from Trader Joe's that work well with the Trim Healthy Mama plan. And I'm just going to go over some of them really quickly because if you have the book, you know which recipes um, these items will fit into and whether they go in the S for satisfying or E for energizing categories. But I just wanted to show you really quick what I've got. This week I went shopping without a menu plan. I guess you would call, um, I guess you would say I'm going to wing it this week. But that's okay because I think a lot of people do it this way. A lot of people don't do menu plans. I just wanted to show you really quick what are some of the things that are plan approved that you can get from Trader Joe's um, so you can wing it. But um, a lot of produce you can get there, bananas, I got some spaghetti squash, some apples, and I like the Trader Joe's apples are really small, so I don't have to cut them in half. If I was going to eat a big apple, I would feel like it's just too much. Um, and then I got some organic lemons, some bell peppers. I prefer red bell peppers, but they have tricolor or they have green. And then I got some um, organic tomatoes still on the vine. I got some baby zucchini. I really like these because they're tender and they taste really good. Um, they're really delicious steamed or even sauteed. And then I got some avocados because eggs and abs, my favorite. And then one thing that we keep a lot here is um, my husband and my daughter really like peanut butter and they will not switch over to almond butter. So I get this creamy, salted, organic Valencia peanut butter and there's a reason for that and I'll put the link in the description below um, Also some other things that I like to get from Trader Joe's besides fresh produce. Oh, I did get um, Here's a couple of things real quick. I got some organic raspberries and then I found this purple cauliflower Which I thought was really cool and I can't wait to make something with that They carry quite a few different types of sprouted um, sprouted grain breads and I got that um, you have to really look at the ingredient list on any kind of pasta marinara or pizza sauce because some of them have sugars and some of them have soybean oil um, this is not 100% um, purist for me it does have some soybean oil in it but they were out of the kind that I usually get so I made a compromise on this one but it does have um, only half a gram of fat and six carbs in a half a cup serving. So that works for now. And then a couple of things, um, applesauce. You can use applesauce with cottage cheese or Greek yogurt. And then this is something I really like from Trader Joe's. It's fairly new at our Trader Joe's, but it's um, organic coconut milk. And it only has... Um, one gram of carbs per quarter cup. So a lot of them have some things added like fillers that make um, the carb count go up and I don't like to use those. And then another thing that you can get at Trader Joe's is a lot of beans. They have a good selection of organic beans. I got garbanzo, northern beans, pinto beans, black beans, and refried beans. Um, I do a lot of dried beans myself, but when you're going to have a really busy week, it's nice to have some canned beans. And then these green chilies because they taste good in everything. Um, more produce. I got um, some jalapenos, which are great for um, sauteing, or you can even cut them in half and fill them with cream cheese and make some appetizers with those. And then some green beans. And I like to get their spinach if it's fresh. You always have to check the dates. And then the butter lettuce is one of my favorites. And we all like these Persian cucumbers and some more cauliflower. I usually get my Kerrygold butter at Costco. But since I was at Trader Joe's and I didn't want to go to Costco on a Sunday, I grabbed some just in case we happen to be out because my husband and daughter can't live without butter. Okay, um, my son really likes tacos, and so I get Trader Joe's Organic Sour Cream. 
and then we get half and half for coffee it doesn't have any added yucky stuff and then I get heavy whipping cream I make the payoff day candies quite a bit and then I put heavy cream in my coffee sometimes if you can't get it locally Trader Joe's is a good option because they don't have what this now has carrageenan in it what the heck Trader Joe's I'm pretty sure this used to not have carrageenan in it, but now it does, so I'm going to complain about that. Okay, almond milk. Almond milk is a great thing to grab at Trader Joe's. Um, their brand doesn't have carrageenan in it. It's It has some flour lecithin. If you don't want to make your own almond milk, this is a good option. I never, I try not to buy the vanilla because I can just add vanilla at home, but um, at Costco they they have unsweetened vanilla for some reason and not original but so there's that and then frozen stuff I like to get these mushrooms because they don't have anything in them it's completely vegan it's just straight you know several different types of mushrooms with a little bit of olive oil parsley salt and garlic so those are really handy for adding flavor to whatever you're making and then I got some artichoke hearts, frozen. They also come canned there, which is handy. And then Trader Joe's has an amazing selection of cheese. I get a lot of cheese at Trader Joe's. And yes, I do like their Parmesan cheese. This is one of my favorites. And then this, um, this I guess could be considered a drive through Sioux kind of thing with some baked blue corn tortilla chips. Um, that's a nice little snack and then we get this particular brand of Trader Joe's coffee I've tried quite a few this is the one that we can all agree on my husband likes dark roast I like light roast this is medium so we compromise um, chicken from Trader Joe's I got a bag of thigh meat and a bag of breast and then I also got some grass-fed Angus ground beef and then for the drive through Sue's, I did like to get this because um, it just I really it's easy for me to make rice myself because I have a rice maker and it's really not hard at all. But I just wanted to grab this and show you guys how easy it would be to just throw together something just from Trader Joe's because this organic brown rice is it's really good actually. And if you use a microwave, this this can come in really handy. And then um, I really, really like the rolled oats from Trader Joe's because you can you can use them as is in your overnight oatmeal, your crock pot oatmeal, or you can grind them up and use them as oat flour and that you can make a lot of baked goods with it. So that's just a few of the things I got. This is just all of the items that I got for um, for my meals. Okay, I also got some organic popping corn, which is great if you can air pop it. And then I got um, I got some sprouted organic California rice, which I've never tried this particular one, I don't think. If I have, it's been a long time. And then we like the tricolored quinoa and the lentils. And this is one of my favorite things from Trader Joe's. Um, we really like these almonds with rosemary. They're really delicious.